already a 20 win season. Our officials, Owen Short, Joe Lindsay, Bart Lennox, we're playing ball in Oxford. Right, Texas A&M playing quick here in transition. Radford on the drive off the window. And when Lee Taylor gets it going, their half-court offense is real good. But Buzz, he's so good, Buzz starts him anyway. And a turnover again, and Obasaki slams it. Terrible start here for Ole Miss on their home floor. We spent a long time in a film room, and he went over and over and over that same thing, and That's it's not working out so far. Wade Taylor outside, deep three. Ole Miss has come back with Austin Nunez, another ball handler, so they've got an extra ball handler at the time. Late. Taylor coming back for the ball here is dangerous. He got it back from Garcia, who flips it. And Radford can't get it the first time, but again, offensive rebounds is something that the Aggies do better than just about anybody in the country, and then they get the three out of it. You see something in the midst of that play, go attack the rim, and that's what Morrell did. Wide open for a three. Obasikini knocks another one down. That was a great look by Morrell. You can't ask for anything better than that. Obasky's going to pull up. Heat check. Got it. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Him in the starting lineup. They've won two in a row. Here he is again, this time trying to work inside. Had to strip away. Morrell on the breakaway. For, for, for Mississippi. And Ole Miss relies on him to make plays like that defensively and get some easy baskets. Three won't go. Rebound or miss. Flanagan got it. Nice ball movement. There is Brakefield. And he got it. Don't relax now. And they come up with a turnover right on Jay's Q. And ahead on the break and the lay in by Murray. Great look ahead by Matt Morrell. That gets it back to 11 with 11 to go first half and the crowd showing their appreciation. There's a lot of basketball players. There's no reason at all to do anything in a panic mode for Ole Miss. And almost another turnover. Instead, on the loose ball. Lucy Cisse for Ole Miss in the lineup has switched jerseys from 33 to 13. He ripped his, his Radford on the baseline. The kick outside of Garcia. Two to shoot, a turnover. Ole Miss looking to run. Breakfield. Guarding Murray on the baseline. Now they try to switch it back. That jumper goes for three. Murray is the inbounder here and then steps right back in. And as they're trying to get switched back to get the five man off him, he's wide open. Taylor, there's the drive and the kick out. And Radford's three goes. And Solomon Washington so strong coming down the floor and so fast, they've got all kinds of options in transition. Three-pointer over Jamari and Sharp. Loss against Georgia really hurt, but, yep. they, but they're playing good enough. They can win in the SEC tournament. Radford, nice drive to the hole again. He's in double figures. Texas A&M has slowed them up Ole Miss and forced them to run half-court offense. Texas A&M is well scouted as a team and well prepared. So when they're running half-court offense, I feel like Ole Miss is at a disadvantage. And Morell's going to force one, and he got it. Unless you've got... Well, that wasn't Morell, I beg your pardon. T.J. Caldwell T. J. coming T. J. off Caldwell. the bench, and that's exactly what he brought, what Chris Beer brought him in for. He's a great rebounding guard, good shooting guard, and can handle the ball against the pressure. Good substitution. Middle of the floor. Ratford straight up with a three. Got it. You've got to move the ball and move people. I know Chris Beard is not happy with the stationary offense. Rakefield trying to find some space inside. Got it. The one good thing they are doing is attacking from the middle of the floor. When you play against this no middle defense, you got to attack them from the middle of the floor. You can't do it from the sidelines. This card has got to move, but he's more of a shooter than a driver. Here's your guy that can get any type of shot he wants or get one for his teammate. And he got that one. Here's a Flanagan's good in the post. Here's a steal. 
Radford trying to go coast to coast with it, does. Allen Flanagan's got to take that ball inside and look to score first before he looks to pass. Great field from good in the middle of the floor driving the ball. Wrong in his hand in the air, knocks it down. That was a great look. Radford ahead to Taylor. He'll pull up. And the outside jumper goes for him. Wow. Wow. And all they have to do is run their stuff, take the right shots. I would have taken that if I was called one right there. He's hot, wide open. Well, inside, off the window. Posted up Wade Taylor. Good recognition when they had a mismatch on Wade Taylor. Great execution. 11 for Matthew Morrell. I start thinking about getting it out of Wade Taylor's hands right now because he's really dominating the game. Taylor, long range. Got it. Wow. Ooh. Wow. This is tough. When he's playing like this, they had a game against Houston where they almost beat Houston. He had 31, and most of it was in the second half, just taking over the game. When he gets it going, he could be unstoppable. He had 41 against Arkansas earlier this year. And Wade Taylor, the four. Garcia with the rebound. And a pull up. That three rims out. Kept alive, though. Offensive glass again, and the three wow. on the other side. Don't forget, you'll see Tennessee against Kentucky in our triple header. When we're done here, I am and Raft and Grant will have that game for you. That's a good start coming out of the break. Your offense will rebounding, and you're taking some chances on the offense class that might give up baskets, but you got to speed up the game. And a basket and one. It's lineup because you know you have to stay with Wade Taylor, and you have to stay with Boots Rad. Keep running your stuff. You still got a couple minutes of still being able to run your stuff. Great look. There's a great look for three, and it pays off. Jump stop and off the window. Nice move. Radford, the kick out. Obasaki with a right hand. Wow. So aggressive. Manny Obasaki. A lot of quad one and quad two games, probably as many as anybody in the country. Yep. Offensive rebound this time for the Rebels. And Murray will try three and got it. Their forwards are not looking to catch a pass. They're positioning themselves for offensive rebounds, and Buzz Williams tells the guards, get a good shot or put it up on the glass. There's a layup by Murray. And Hefner in, who's a great shooter, just hasn't been making shots this year. But if they can get him going right here. Well, he's about ready to take one. And it goes right on your cue, coach. Into the lineup because he's also a senior here in his last performance. He also sending a message to his team because he knows Cole McGrath plays with great is it, is it Aggies defense is just so set that they can't penetrate it or what's the no, story? It, it, you, you almost have to take a chance throwing it up trusting your teammates going to step to the ball. Brad Nessler and I want to meet him. Yeah. I, so I had to have you come in there and, and have a little taste with it. I want to thank Lee for that Diet Coke he bought me too. <laughs> Wade Taylor for three. It's just fun to see every town in the SEC how they love to see you come in, buddy. And thank you for all the, the great football and basketball games that you made sound great to us in the SEC. Uh, thanks. We've had a blast this year. I'm going to turn you over to the studio guys now after today. And uh, yeah, you've been carrying me now. Now uh, Seth and Clark got to carry me. And yep. Ernie and, and the rest of the gang. Poor AZ. But it has been fun. Even these, you come to these these arenas and you see these great coaches. I think that's something in the SEC. <laughs> and I send, I go back out and Chris is in the hallway. He said, coach, I just wanted to meet you before the game. I wanted to tell you how much I respect you. And I, and I thought to myself, and I didn't know him. So I thought he might be, he might be just setting me up. <laughs> but he's, he's, a, he's one of the real good guys in the business and a great coach. And he's going to have, but if you look at their, if you look at their schedule, they have, they have purposely scheduled up. Career high 22. That's wow. what the backcourt's done for the Aggies today. You know, if they could add Hayden Hefner at the end, and this guy just on keeps fire. Let's see if Cole McGrath can get one right here. He's a senior for Ole Miss. Three pointer goes in the corner. Someone to work for your company, the walk ons and the managers. And we dribble it out. 
AM goes officially to 18 and 13, 9 and 9 in conference play. Chris Beardstein drops to 7 and 11. 